Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that if you do Flash or Action Script programming, I'm coming out with a new course, should be coming out in November, uh, from Cartoon Smart, where I'm going to be teaching how to do strategy games using Action Script 3, where you'll learn how to do some uh, terrain generation, some connected component labeling. Here's some previews on my website as well as A-star pathfinding, state machines, object-oriented state machines, and more. Uh, and of course, I still have all my uh, seven other Blender videos that I've done for Cartoon Smart that are available. So let's pop open Blender. Today, what we're going to be looking at is render layers in composite nodes and how you use those. So we've got this cube here, and Let's go ahead and color the cube. We'll make this a nice green color. And I'll go Shift A. We'll add a UV sphere. I'll hit Z so you can see that the sphere is there inside the cube. I'll cl click to create a new material. And I'm just going to make this a nice white color. Oops. Purple. <laughs> Let's get this all the way over here. And then uh, I'm going to smooth it so it's a nice smooth. So it looks just like this. Smooth. <laughs> and I'm going to type M. And I'm going to move it over to layer 2. I'm going to select the camera and the light. Type M. Hold the shift key. And select layer 2 for that. So that if the layer 2 is active, you could see. I'll hit Z, so it, we can see the shading, that the, the light and the camera are on layer 2. Or if I go to layer 1, you'll see that just the cube is on layer 1, as well as the light and the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if only you could have seen Richard's expression. So I'm going to hold the shift key so that we have both layers visible, going over to the render controls, and uh, I'm going to create, I first I'm going to rename this render layer, I call it box. And here, these are our layer controls, just like these over here. But over here, this relates to this render layer, what it, what layers it will render, if visible. And I'm going to say render layer 1, because that's what the box is on. And I'm going to add another render layer, it's called ball. And if we go over and look at just layer 2, you can see the ball is on layer 2. I want it to render just layer 2. So I'm going to hold the shift key and go back to seeing all of our layers. So now we've got these different render layers, box, it's going to render layer 1, ball, layer 2. We need to go into our nodes now. Into the node editor, select compositing nodes, Click Use Nodes, and we'll also, well, let's hold off on that for a second. I'm going to select this one and do Shift-D to duplicate it. We have the box, and I'm going to say Ball here. Let's go ahead and click Render, and then hit Escape. I'm going to render this one too, and hit Escape. Now, I'll do Shift-A. And I'm going to select a mixing node. Shouldn't you hit spacebar? <laughs> <laughs> he says sarcastically. <laughs> yes, I am tempted to hit spacebar, but I choose not to. Uh, and I'm going to mix these. I'm going to say one. So that means it's 100%. 100% of this one will be mixed onto this one. And I'm going to click this button so it uses the alpha of this layer, of this node. And then I'm going to connect the output to our composite. And I'm also going to go Shift A and add a viewer node, which is also connected here, so it gets the same output. Make that a little bit bigger. It's kind of nice how it's default connected to it. Yeah. And I'm going to sh click Show Backdrop. Now there's a couple problems here. 
Uh, for some reason, this is not rendering with the, the light on it. Uh, and we're getting a little bit of a halo here. So I'm going to go over to our shading controls here. And I'm going to turn off ray tracing. And I'm going to turn on pre-multiplied. And then I'm going to hit F12 to render again. And you'll see that it rendered correctly now. So I don't know if the ray tracing is, is a bug or, or what, that it's not doing it correctly. But, uh, and then the pre-multiplied, we get a nice no halo. Okay. And if we hit escape, go back, you'll see our backdrop. You'll see that it's there. So, you know, if we had this down, you could see that you can alter the transparency of the... Uh, I kind of like that. It looks cool. It's like mysterious. The layers. So this is nice that in Blender, you can render these things separately and then composite them. And the reason it's compositing is under post-processing, this is selected. So what it's going to do is it's going to use these compositing nodes. Uh, just like if you render these separately, brought them into Photoshop or GIMP or some program like that, and uh, composited them which you could do, but here you could do it right in Blender. And this has been in there forever. Uh, it's the ability to do this. It's not really a new feature, but it, it's one that people don't always come across right away. Uh, then the other nice thing is if this was animated, this would this ball would always be sitting on top of it. So let me uh, go to the 3D view, hit 7. I'm going to hit the period so that we use our rotate it around our uh, cursor. cursor. Thank you. <laughs> and I want just the camera. So I'm just going to rotate it over here. I'll hit F12. I say boom. So it's kind of cool. Kinda yeah. Cool effect. All right. We'll see you next time. See ya.